each army or fleet spread over two or more unit stacks may not be able to fight as a single force. A faction can... I should win this easily. Boom, you're dead. Oh, decapitated. Got that Blood and Gore DLC. That's kind of bullshit in itself, but I'm just going to forget about it. We shall occupy. Sack, loot, and occupy. Yeah, we can occupy. I want to keep it. Faction destroyed. Wow. That was a one faction, one one general, one settlement faction, which is like weird. If your recruitment wow. Missile damage. It's all commanding govern govern province. Missile damage. I'll, I'll do that. Holy shit, do I need some some repairs? To my army, not to the settlement, but I guess to the settlement as well. I have to convert this, don't I? Convert. We'll have to repair it first and then convert. Um, can I recruit anybody? I can. Let's get one of these guys. Uh, let's get rid of this guy because I only have one of him, so there's no. I don't really feel like Desert Bowman. Is this 118? 78. So these guys are probably much better. Are you ready to Let's get a couple more. These spearmen are not are actually not very useful whatsoever. Uh, they're like they're decent. So actually, let's not make them. Let's get three more of these guys. Because usually, what what it's like is spearmen have have some kind of sh um, spear wall ability. So basically, they're like they're really good at holding their ground. Like if you're being attacked in the settlement, you put them. And they hold their ground. These axemen are usually good at just like they're not. They're usually very bad at, at like holding their ground and just staying in one place and fighting for a while. They're usually much better at like using as um, the kind of uh, unit that you know you put behind the spearmen, and then if you need them, they can run in, do a lot of damage, or run out, and then go somewhere else, move them around. But it's it's a complete opposite now. These spearmen are, although they could they could still hold the line rather well without that shield wall ability they don't have the ability itself and these guys have have that ability so it's kind of like i'm not sure which one i'm going with because they're both kind of equally good at doing the same thing but that kind of makes it difficult to maximize your units uh for range infantry units morale for ranged infantry. I don't really care about morale. Morale's kind of like not an issue. Next turn. Let's do it. And everyone attacking me. It's only a matter of time until uh, I start seeing armies entering my territory. Or maybe not, actually, because remember, the, the, I think the first turn I made. Um, a faction declared war on me, and even though every other country, ev even though many other factions are at war with me, I have yet to see an army enter my territory. And the second I say that, I'm going to see three armies coming from the same direction. I'd like to fight a siege battle here. So Terrain far. and settlements that are known to your faction, but to which you have no line of sight, are covered by the fog of war. Fog Use your war. agents and forces to reveal the machinations of your rivals before they act against you. Wait, why is this? Uh, I'm Jewish, right? Like, yeah, is it, uh, my faction is Jewish, so I'm not sure what's going on here, people. Yeah, Judaism. So why is this? What? Why, why do I have to convert this to some kind of? Oh, that's what I can. Okay, so let's wait. Let's wait another turn to. I just got another settlement, yet I don't, I'm not making any more money. It's all army upkeep, obviously. Let's get rid of these guys. These guys were terrible. They could not do anything. Absolutely. I don't really believe in cavalry. I may, I may have stayed that in a, probably other playthroughs. I really, I'm not a huge fan of cavalry. But I don't think they do a lot. Even though every faction I will fight in the desert will have tons of cavalry, I probably won't. Well, oh yeah, here. Oh wow. Oh, there it is. I was, I was, I was saying like I'm just you know, it 
eventually some army's gonna arrive and I'm gonna get fucked and say it ain't so. Shit! Oh my god. <laughs> I had to open my mouth. But as I was just saying, so I, don't, I really don't believe in cavalry, and the only reason that I will get any cavalry is simply to oppose the enemy cavalry, because if you don't have cavalry against an army with a lot of cavalry, you're kind of at a huge disadvantage. Even though I, I did just win that battle, um, it was still, you know, it wasn't an easy win, so. Um, hopefully this place has a really good garrison. I really do hope it has a really good garrison. It has a really shitty garrison. Four units? And one light artillery. How is that possible? Okay, that's awesome that you have those guys. But I don't understand. It's it's a it's a capital, so I could get I could get two desert spears and one more onager. I mean that that basically that would change the game around, wouldn't it? Okay, let's get some mercenaries. We're gonna have to. Hello. Heavy melee infantry, that looks awesome. Let's get another one of those. Get against cavalry. Pro Mercenary Desert Legionary Defectors. Hell yeah. I'll do that. Let's check this army out. Looks like a breeze, actually. I don't think I really need to get too many soldiers here. And I, I'm not, I don't want to. I don't want to get more than I have to. Let's get some tech. Looks good. Actually, I'm really excited to play this battle. I, I actually, I really, really want them to attack. Probably in the next couple turns because I have to get siege equipment. Actually, no. I might be wrong because if I'm not mistaken, there is a certain trait depending on what your special. Really. Really. Now this, oh my god, please don't be this kind of asshole. So now he's between both my settlements, and he could attack either one with one move, but I, can, I only have one army, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cheat, I'm going to save right after this turn is done, and I'm going to see where he attacks, because that is just the most, like, it seems like they're all, they're all moving to, this, to my southern capital, so, I don't know. I really want to use this army to defend the settlement. Use backspace on your keyboard to stop them. I mean, look, he can, he can attack. I think he's going to the south one. I think so, but I don't want to attack him in open combat. So what I'm gonna do is, eh, I'll move down here. I'll make an army, new forces up here. Sounds good. Don't be outside. Be inside. Mercenaries. All I got is a few spearmen. That should be good enough. But I'm gonna save right now because that's just a dick move. That's just like a that's just like a really shameful move to do that to like basically make a move so you have to separate my. What? I'm about to lose money. No. Thank you. Um. Yes. Let's get some more money. Money? Anything? And then he's doing any money? Let me do authority. There we go. So, uh, I might lose money, but if this guy does not attack, I'll be so fucking mad. Because now I'm, I'm going bankrupt trying to protect myself. And this guy's he's just going to stand there like a dick and not attack anywhere. Well, you're a fucking piece of shit. But now, now I have these guys coming from the south, and it's just like, I'd be, I'd be in eight different places all at once. I only have not enough money in the world. So what I'm, what I'm, what I'm going to do now is move the army that was down there back up to Zafar, take this army, get rid of all the, all the units in it, go back south, and recruit a couple units. That way they have much less upkeep. Couldn't think of the word, and uh, hopefully, I won't, I won't go fucking. So many units, the treasury is I won't go fucking under the weight of their bankrupt. Piece of Capturing shit. new territory would spread the cost. 
as well as putting your troops to good use. I'm talking about putting my troops to good use. Call this a garrison? Who can I get rid of here? Oh, these are mercenaries, so. Boom, making $36. I really hope this guy attacks me. Holy shit, look at this army. They're so pissed. I mean, not, they're not mad, but why is it? All my armies down here are always really, like, just have terrible morale. Because I'm not winning enough battles fast enough. I really have no idea what to do with this place because, you know, I'm going to get attacked eventually just because, you know, I have three settlements. That's where they're going to have to attack me. I'm not going to just go into my territory and just stand there. Although they could. They could just go into my territory and start raiding it if they were like, Wow, okay, thanks. I, oh, oh, like, who does that? Was he going on like a scouting party? Oh, he's got two settlements. Now we can attack. I would never do that. Why would you... If you're going to spy, send a, send a spy. If you're gonna attack me, send an army, and he sent a he sent a nearly full army, a full stack against me. <laughs> the AI war the AI and Warhammer Total War Warhammer better be phenomenal. Phenomenal. To quickly save the game what you got? Campaign. Some kind of special. Shut up. To the last what is this? This does not. The family tree. Something's happening. It says. Something needs my attention. Your family's political power is determined by. Shut up. The records tab. Oh my god. Okay. Influence. Shut up. What's going on? What what needs my oh? My lord, we should hold a fabulous feast, inviting all the great and good of the land to marvel at our splendor and lasting for ninety days and nights. Who should we invite? Ignore the. Quest and by our neighbors and better allies. Better allies, I don't know. All of our uh, about our neighbors, I mean, but all of our neighbors are our enemies, so I'm not sure how that's gonna go down. Should go well though. What could possibly go what could possibly go wrong? Uh I guess I can get rid of these guys. I really, I, I really wanted to use them too, legionaries, but defected legionaries. So I wonder how they would probably look really cool, like with desert, basically desert camo on or desert attire. That'd be awesome. I really, I really wanted to, I really wanted to fight that battle at Sahar with that full stack. I would have been, I would have won. It would have been really fun. Because battles that, you know, as much as, you know, close battles are fun probably to watch, they're probably not, they're not much fun for me to play as, because it's, you know, stressful, like, oh, am I going to win or not? And uh, battles that, you know, I have, I couldn't possibly lose are, are fun to me, just because I get to crush the enemy. And they came in to attack me. So that battle, I would have absolutely crushed him, just because, I mean, the few, the few units that I, that I saw that he had were, like, cavalry, and like archers. Every army, fleet, or agent so. can reveal information um. about rival armies, fleets, and settlements in their immediate proximity. <laughs> Alright, so guys, that's a good taste of the uh, of the DLC so far. You know, I haven't. Not much has happened, but uh, you know, you, you get you get the the gist of how this is gonna go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first part. Possible more parts coming in the future, but as as right now, I think I'll end it there because we've we played a battle we've done a lot we've captured a new settlement we've you know we started war with 17 different countries probably more than actually no nah, i could they could fit more they squeeze them next week uh, closer to each other when i have more but so <laughs> i've certainly you know certainly made a difference in this campaign already so i hope you guys enjoyed that new parts coming more parts coming out possibly in the future so stay tuned i'll see you guys in the next one and thanks for watching <laughs>